Hi, this is Sharon from Impressive and Affordable Cargo Trailer Conversions, and Rick and I are in the Keys. We're staying at Big Pine Key Fishing Lodge in the Keys, and it's wonderful here. Rick took a drone shot of our camper, and right across from us is another cargo conversion, and that is Scott and Karen, and we decided to tour their camper and interview them, which is coming up. But we got bunks. So. Oh, you do have a, the kitchen yeah. up here. Okay. So, yep, so he put oh, when you have bunks. And... Hey, it's definitely livable. Yeah, you know? for sure. Um, and where does he put his bike? He We take the bunks down. They come down. They break down. Oh, is that hard? No, it's really easy. And then he, um, he just, the back goes down and he drives up. We put the bike right here. So, is that your truck? Yep, this is our Suburban. So you pull the trailer, the trailer with the truck, yes. and the motorcycle goes in here once the, the beds yeah, are broken once down. The beds are down, and then we put all our junk. And you know what I say? This is this is definitely um, livable and functional yes. for you guys. So definitely. this is what I say. What, everyone is different. Yeah. Karen and, and Scott. Scott. That's yeah. right. Yeah. I wrote yeah, but this is nothing fancy, but but it's practical for what you guys need, yeah. and then for putting the bike in it. Yeah, and I'm a snowmobile, and if I need it for work, and yeah, yeah it's nothing. Believe me, it's you got the garage style. Fan. I love these windows in the front. And these are all the places you've been. Yep. Awesome. That's it. We're just starting. Yeah, we went out to uh, California, down to San Francisco, and then went all the way up the coast to Oregon. How long have you had this? Um, I think three years, maybe. Something and like that. do you guys use the bike a lot when you're when you're yeah exploring down here? Well, yeah. You know, this is awesome. Nice to go and set, you know somewhere for a couple of weeks and then just pull the bike out. And you got the bike to tool around down. Exactly, it's easier. Yeah. It's easier. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah. So, do you have a generator? What do yeah, you do for electric? Yeah, we have a generator, but we also have. He's got it hooked up to electric. Electric. Yeah. And then we have um, our lights, our battery to go yeah. couple charge, and yeah. they'll last for a couple weeks this when is we're cool. dry camping. Yeah. Know. No toilet, but you know. Well, that's, I have a bucket. Right. <laughs> yeah, <I'm>, hey. <laughs> this is what I said. Everyone picked out. They designed this for what they wanted it for. Right, right. Now, just toured another, um, met another guy. His name is Chris. He's over by the, the water. Okay. And he's got a full bathroom. In there. Wow. And it, it's it's amazing. It'll it'll be on the, the channel when when I get okay, it edited. I'll have to definitely take it. But it's, you know, whatever is important to you. We yeah. knew that most yeah. of the time where we're camping, we're, 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 some, we're, off, we're not off grid most of the time. Right, most of right. the time we're at a place where there's a bathhouse. Right. Well, um, I mean, there's some kind of bathroom. So yeah. even if there's not a shower, I mean, you can go with, you know, that's why they make baby wipes, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, tell me about it. We, we hiked to AT a little bit and I got some stories there because there's no bathhouses yeah, there. Right, but right. <laughs> so. so this, this is def the bucket is definitely an upgrade from it. Yeah. So this you is know, nice. We love it. It's it just worked out for us. Like I said, he uses it. Yeah. All year. So for other stuff. And yeah, for the bike and stuff. Right. But it's cozy enough you can sleep in it. Like yep. I said, when his was his work trailer, he we took it camping because we knew it was supposed to rain that weekend. Right. But we tent camped, and it was supposed to rain the, the next day. So we broke down the tent and everything. Well, Thank this is definitely an upgrade from tent. Yes, you know, because of the rain and animals, exactly wild animals, and and so we just put an air mattress in it. it he cleaned out most of the tools and stuff, right? And we just put out it, put an air mattress in it, and it poured that night. Thank God we were in there. Yeah, that works. So that works. it definitely and we worked. We cook outside too. And usually the refrigerator is inside on the back, but it was um, we don't have. Oh, you have a refrigerator? Oh, right here. This Where does that go? It usually goes back here. Back here, but okay, it was yeah. too, we didn't put our air in, so yeah, we have um, there's a hole right in the wall where he's got covered up with inside, and that's where we slide a small air conditioner if we have, yeah, to, but we haven't used it yet, so yeah, this is this is great. Like I said, everyone makes it to their own, that's what I like about them, it's completely custom to what you want, right? Right, 
um, and and within your budget. Of course. You know, so I, I think these yeah. camper companies are going to start hating us. Well, I think we're I, the hippies. You know, I started seeing more of them, you know, yes. since in the last couple of years since we've, and some of them are just, whoa, high end. Well, they are, they are. So when, when he did this and then I think we started looking some things up on YouTube and then um, I'm like, all right, let's, let's make a channel of, of how you converted this. Um, I didn't get that much actual footage of him converting, but then I realized there's a lot of people on YouTube to do this. I says, Rick, we're, we're not unique. Okay. It seems like the people get, they get older, <laughs> they buy right, these, they convert right, them and right. then they go on a YouTube channel. Well, you know, and we're still healthy enough and young enough to, you know, yeah, we can sleep in the bunks. We can, yeah. you know, we don't have to have power all the time. You know? Yeah. But, now, um, maybe eventually I'll upgrade to one of these. <laughs> we love the camping room. I mean, the people you meet, it's just... You, you do. And this is like a whole community. It, it's just, this is more of a blank slate. You right? can make it what you want. Yep. Definitely. Um, and you can take it a lot more places. I mean, some of the parts you can't get a big rig. In a big rig. You know? But I think some people don't want these in there. They right. think, oh, well, there goes the neighborhood. We've been noticing that too. People uh, yeah. aren't happy about it. Like we were down in Texas two years ago and uh, yeah, they were not happy when we pulled into this. They thought we had something totally different. Yeah. But we had already booked it and we had family staying there that we were meeting and they let it go. Yeah. But once we were in there for a few days, they were fine. Yeah. What, what, hey, when they, they look at ours and judges from the outside, I'm like, come in. Yeah. Okay, and they're like, oh, 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 okay. Right. There's a, a big red one couple blocks down oh, we've seen that yeah we're we're we gotta stop and look at that yeah one. i want to check that yeah. out okay. yeah it's a whole new thing here yeah now, so. it is i think yeah. we're, we're the hippie movement um <laughs> but it's it's pretty awesome well thank you for letting us see well, you're it you're welcome and you said i got a lot of footage and a lot of editing to do well, but yeah, you, you've got the link i can't wait to go up on it and look at it yeah we've got some i'm weird um, we're funny so <laughs> Hey, we all are. Yeah, okay. it's fun. It's it's really fun. And I'll tell you, it, it makes camping a little different now because yeah. now I know I'm camping with an eye that oh, I'm going to put this on our channel. Right, right. But and well, we can add it. <laughs> yeah, we can edit. But we've only had it up for maybe three weeks, and we got a lot of people looking at it. And when I was talking to Chris, one of the things he was saying is that it's beneficial. It's informative. It helps people, yeah. this information. Right. You may not have thought of something. Well, thank you so much. You are welcome. All right. Take care. Thank you, Scott and Karen, for allowing us the tour and for giving us an interview and allowing us to put this on YouTube. I think it was very important for us to put this on YouTube because some people think that it's just these high-end fancy conversions that people are camping in and it's not. I mean, if you look at all the places that Scott and Karen have been, they've been more places than we have. Um, this is practical for them. There is no way I would want Rick putting a motorcycle or a snowmobile in our trailer. So I think it's important that you make what is practical for you. And this is what they need right now because he is still using that and it's, it's great. The other thing I want to point out is that Scott and Karen have everything that they need in their camper. They have everything that we have. They've got the refrigerator. They've got the air conditioner. <laughs> They're cooking outside like we are. They have their bucket. They have beds. We have the same thing, except they're able to, to haul a motorcycle or a snowmobile, which we can't do in ours. The reality is this isn't a competition. I think as long as you stay within your budget and make what you want, that it's practical for your use, then that's all you need. Everyone's different. The most important thing is, is that we're getting outside, we're camping, enjoying the experience, and living life. Thank you all for watching.